I recently wrote an article called the software development paradigm for the 2020s and in that article which i recommend you read by the way i i discuss what i think is this decade's innovation for software development first of all what do i mean by a paradigm right something that changes our view of the possibilities before for example ruby on rails existed and Ruby on Rails as the quintessential MVC framework for you uh, out there who know what I'm talking about. We had no idea it was possible to organize our code for the web. And by we, I mean us people who didn't study computer science and were just using the available tools like PHP or before that ASP or any kind of old school web technology. We had no idea and once Ruby on Rails came into the picture, we kind of expanded our view of the possibilities and started creating other technologies on top of that, inspired by this worldview, this paradigm. Now that we know what a paradigm is, let's discuss the current paradigm. The current paradigm is basically a paradigm where we have a backend, we have a frontend, they talk to each other, but they're very much autonomous in the sense of they exist in different servers, they uh, sometimes are written in different languages, and but they, they talk with, to each other really well, by the way, we got really really good at developing apps uh, in the f past few years. But one thing that we did with this paradigm is that by separating backend and frontend, we created a network chasm. That expression, uh, I think, is Ryan's Florence's creation, one of the creations of React Router and Remix. But I've heard many people from the Remix e ecosystem using it, and it means I need to make sure that the information I have on the front end goes to the back end and comes back. And in between them, they're so distant, so apart from each other, that we need to make sure we have a whole protocol of communication between the two. Another thing that's that's a part of the, para the current paradigm is that we are creating rich UIs. In the, the old days, the, the, um, the Ruby on Rails days, we had very good designs, but every time we, we wanted to change something on, the, on, on an app, we had to reload the whole page and then the change would appear, for example. In order to get really good user experience and user interface UX UI, we ended up separating backend and frontend and the frontend usually runs on the browser with a lot of JavaScript and rendering very rich UIs. Those rich UIs were the reason we created this par paradigm, I think, because we wanted to provide a better UX for our users. But by creating this UX that's better with richer UIs, we had to do something that's, that was new for us and that right now feels like a lot to me, which is we have to manage the app on the front end and manage the app on the back end. We call this like state management. This, the front end needs to know what's happening with the app. If I receive the new message, this, the front end needs to know that there's a new message so, so it can needs to display the new message icon, for example. But the back end also needs to know there's a new message. And I need to manage this state in both places because they're separate. And this is the current paradigm. We have separate backends and frontend. Of course, not everybody's using the paradigm. It's not uh, a generalization, but it's the zeitgeist. But, and then I have a separate backend, separate frontend. They talk to each other. I have rich UIs and I have to manage state on both. Then to ignite a change in paradigm, frameworks like Next.js emerged and they started solving the problem of not having to manage the state both on the front end and on the client. I'm not go going to get into how they do it 
in this video, but they started doing it. We got really better for managing the state in terms of loading information from the backend to the frontend. So we, we don't need to manage that much when loading information. But one thing that Next.js and the other frameworks don't do is that when we're changing information, when the user, for example, saves something, we have to manage this by ourselves in the current zeitgeist, in the current paradigm. I hope you're still with me, but now we're going to get to the next paradigm that I think is emerging and it's going to blow your mind. Basically, starting with Remix, as far as I know, no one else did this before. We are now having separate backends and frontends, but they look like the same. The, the developer experience is as if the server and the client were the same thing. So this is really new. We're not going back to the Ruby on Rails era where it was almost only server and almost no client, almost only backend, almost no front. Now what we're doing is we have both, but the developer experience is pretty much the same. You can still customize it to make it different a little bit, but the, the standard experience is you don't know if you're on the backend on the front end if you don't want to know. In the most important aspect, there are a ton of other aspects to the, this revolution, but the most important one is how do they make it look the same? They automate the state management for us and they automate the loading of data, but also the saving of data. Whenever um, the user saves something, Remix will make the developer feel as if they were working on, on an app that, that has only backend, for example, but the Remix will actually be creating the rich UIs we expect today with this the same developer experience of 20 years ago. It's a generalization. The, the actual developer experience is much better, better than 20 years ago, but it's it feels very similar and, to be honest, very nostalgic and very, very nice. But, but I think it's revolutionary for more than how it makes me feel. It's revolutionary because at least 50% of our work at Season prior to Remix was dedicated to state management. And by reducing 50% of, of our accidental complexity, to use a term from, from the great article, No Silver Bullet, we are much more productive and we can focus on the essential complexity now, which is bringing value to users.